Brett Subchishan here with Crusaders TV, joined by Ford and Max LaDuke. You did bury your first as a Crusader today, so maybe walk me through that one. Yeah, I just uh, got the puck deep and battled for it. I was staying inside, in, uh, in between the dots high and got the puck out, shot a low glove. And it seemed that uh, you were pretty excited after your goal, so maybe walk me through that celly as well. Well, uh, I, thought I, uh, I thought I had to get a good celly for my first one, so I don't know. I just kind of pointed at the crowd, trying to get the boys going, and it worked. So. And I guess uh, my next question is, how is the locker room feeling after, you know, of course, losing to the Okotoks Oilers on Friday, being able to come back into Black Falls today on the road, having a dominant offensive performance? I mean, it's definitely nice to win the last game of the weekend, bring the energy into practice next week, and then try to get a sweep next weekend. Perfect. Thank you very much. Forward Max LaDuke and Brett Subchishan for Crusaders TV. Brett Subchishan here with Crusaders TV, joined by head coach Brennan Menard. Of course, a 7-4 win for the Crusaders today. All seven goals by seven different members of the Crusaders. So maybe in your eyes, uh, talk about how good the offense was today. Yeah, the start to the game was a little bit slow again. We, you know, we, the, we made some mistakes that had us giving up a lot of shots early, but all of the shots that we were getting were high quality, um, and then uh, our fourth line, obviously, which is Leduc, Kaziki, and uh, Will, they score a big goal for us. They've been, they've had two really good games. So, I mean, it's pretty good, I guess. It's good depth when you can get seven different guys to score. Of course, this was a two-game uh, weekend for the Crusaders. Of course, Friday was a loss. How important was this game for a win to finish off the weekend strong? Yeah, it was really important. Obviously, you never want to lose back. You never want to lose at all, but you never want to lose back-to-back -back games. So uh, it was big. You know, like I say, the start was what it was, but to continue to always have an answer for a goal when it got scored again, that was that was really key with always uh, bouncing back for goals against. We end up getting a two-goal lead, and then uh, the seventh goal, which basically puts the game out of reach, is about a minute of zone time, and... They didn't touch the puck and we had them tired and uh, we end up making a really nice play to the back door and Zaremba makes no mistake. So just to do it in that fashion, that basically puts the game out of reach and uh, that, was, that was what we like. And of course, you guys do have the Brooks Bandits on uh, Friday, so maybe what will be, uh, I guess, uh, practice like this week? Yeah, well, uh, Brooks is obviously, uh, they can they can score a lot. They're, they defend uh, really, uh, really well as well. So. We've had two games uh, recently with them where both of them have been close. I've liked uh, where we're trending uh, with regards to how we, uh, uh, how we match up against them. So obviously, uh, you know, we have to work on defending because we're giving up too many shots right now. 47 shots against no matter what type the quality are. It's just uh, it's too many. So you can't give 47 shots up to, to Brooks, obviously. So I definitely think uh, some of the defending, uh, a lot of the shots too, it, it comes from the mistakes that you make offensively uh, with turnovers or where you turn the puck over and all that. So we'll have to obviously look deeper into that. We don't want to be giving up 47 shots uh, against Brooks, but looking forward to uh, the challenge. Obviously, it's been a while since we played them and it uh, should be a good game. Well, congrats on the win once again. Head coach Brennan Menard and Brett Subtrition for Crusaders TV.